Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, some of you may have noticed that on the European Care Update site, the website's changed massively. So it's like the Koreans did months back, which I highlighted in one of the Care Electric News episodes. And you get a pop-up notice saying, um, new website and update coming soon. Well, it's here. You've got to use it the way they want you to use it. So the way to find things has actually changed quite a bit. So if I get rid of that, you can now search um, for your updates on by VIN number. So if I click search VIN and I cut and paste my VIN number in, and remember the one I last put in. So my EV3 is now showing on there and the latest navigation update was released 09-2025 and that's 250601, which is correct. The release notes are to the right and you can actually view vehicle models and head units it's applicable to. So if I click on vehicle models, it says it's all of the CCNC ones, so the Carnival EV6 Product Enhancement, EV9, Sorento, HEV, PE, EV3, EV6 GT, new facelift, Sorento PE and, and Sorento FEV. Doesn't know anything about the EV4 yet though. So that was languages for the that section of the notes. And if you go down to introducing Google search and POIs and click on that, you'll see again it was CCNC only head units, just like in the list above. And then Major update for maps, if you click on that, you'll see all the models, but without all of the version number detail that you used to get. So all the, all the old Gen 5 stuff is in there. Hyundai Motor Group has, has moved all of the European sites across to this new style of website. So it's not just Kia, it's Hyundai and also Genesis. So you'll get the same kind of look if you go to any of those sites. If I go back to the first screen, you can also search by vehicle type. So I can just pick from the list, EV3, and select the model year and search. And that will give me the same information as to what the current update is, 09-2025. I'll go backwards. And then how to update, that's how to download the navigation update program. But on my iPad, because it, it's not a PC, you don't see all the options. So if I click on how to update navigation, it goes through everything you need to do and then installing navigation update with downloads not supported on mobile devices. So then I have to look across to my PC, which is on. So I'll show you how to get to that. Flip the camera around. So navigation, and then installing navigation and you'll see that it's got Windows or download for Mac. And you've also got instructions for each type. So if you click on the instructions, that's where the instructions have gone. But if you just want to download the nav data, it's there. If you go back to the front screen, there's a way of finding the old style way of looking at things almost. So if you scroll down to latest updates and September 2025 map and software update, it goes directly to release notes. And if you click on list at the bottom, that gives you the list of the previous ones like you used to see on the front page of the other version. You can also log in, uh, there's a box at the top right hand corner, 
and that takes your Kia Connect logon and will find your car and the colour and will tell you what the VIN number is if you don't know what it is already. I go back to the initial screen. If you need to change region to any other region, uh, you now can't do that at the top right hand corner. You've got to scroll down the bottom. So you go down to Europe. If you go back to USA, you'll see the old style site again. That's what we used to have. Notice that um, if I do update dot Hyundai Hyundai. <laughs> Dot com and then select I mean the American Hyundai site's already gone to the new format to get to the European site scroll to the bottom and then pick Europe and as you can see it's the same and it works the same on uh, update.genesis.com as well. So you have to go to the bottom and pick your region. Anyways, it's as easy as that. Hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.